Okay, I want to start by saying this is a coil right here. It's made of really fine wire. It broke, so only one terminal is going to the coil. The other wire is going to the core, which is made out of some kind of iron. I'm not sure. I'll dissect it at the end of the video. Well, what I'm showing you is I got my leads hooked up, and I've got my meter set to ohm, which, if they're touching together, it'll beep. And you can see that there's no continuity through this coil, so you know it's it's separated. When I go across a magnet, it, it picks up continuity, though. Now, I don't know how significant that is to anybody else, but to me, it seems pretty significant. I don't know why we don't use this in other applications. I can never put a pulse through this to make this run. I couldn't put energy in. I can only accept energy with this coil set up. And I was to say is this being put into an earth battery situation or a antenna ground situation. And just to show you that this will pick up volts, I'm gonna set it to to volts. I have to put it on AC because I don't have a rectifier on it. That's AC volts. Forty nine volts. Now that ain't a a real accurate voltage because, like I said, the wire's so fine. But I mean, it, this thing will light up a neon. But uh, like I said, you still ohming it out just something to think about okay this is that same coal I've got a neon hooked up to it It kills out at about 60 volts, it won't light. About 50. There it goes. About 50 volts it lights. Anyway, and this is the same coal that don't have no continuity. When the magnet stopped, it don't have no continuity. <laughs> 